your relationship with your God. Your relationship with the giver will determine who you should be. You should be. And if you are a friend of God, so everything of yours is good and possible. Be a friend of God. Rather to say, be a friend of the giver. You're asking from. You are seated here in need of this and that. Hey, the blessing all life. Be a friend of the giver. If you want to pray to God, Enter the Bible. Now the Lord has said to Abraham, Put your name there. And the Lord said to Samuel Kakande, So long as you are reading upon or about Abraham, the blessings of the Bible will never work upon you because they talk about Abraham, not you. Be wise when you are reading the Bible. Father, I thank you. And I will give glory to you. Holy name. Give us the grace that we may live for you. In Jesus we pray. Our topic today will take us to the book of 2 Corinthians. Five seventeen to twenty. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Now all things are of God, who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses to them, and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. Now then we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God were pleading through us, we implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. Hallelujah. Amen. The reason why we are here is our relationship with God. That's all. One. Whatever we need, He is the giver. He is the source. The provider. Whether life, whether things of the world. His hand determines. So we are all seated here looking at him. Either for life, healing, good health. So your relationship with your God, your relationship with the giver, will determine who you should be. Even if you have a rich father, 
but your relationship with the father is bad people will begin to question is truly so and so your father why are you in that state he would have helped you he would have done this and that for you yes no, I'm not educated. Leda, the sasoma. My father is uh, one of these richest men. Chitanga yomuku basaji abagaga ba mani dua. He had money. Why you didn't go to school? He alina sente. Luachi te wagenda kusomero no soma. So these are the issues now. Zinono zinzonga. So this relationship will make you a friend of God. And if you are a friend of God, so everything of yours is good and possible. He is the giver of life. Provider. A sky will be your limit. We are in Genesis. Chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light that was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. So evening and the morning were the first. Let's go to verse 26. Then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on us. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God, he created him, male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And God says, See, I have given you every herb that yields seed, which is on the face of all the earth, and every tree whose fruit yields seed, to you it shall be for food. Also to every beast of the earth, to every bird of the air, and everything that creeps on the earth in which there is life, I have given every green herb for food, and it was so. So whatever you want to do, whether you want to buy a land, he owns the land. Because he created it. Whether you want to marry, the woman you want to marry, he created her. Everything belongs to him. Whether you want to go to Britain, he created Britain and all those who are in Britain. So if you want a visa there, be a friend of God. Ask him to speak to those people at the embassy to grant you a visa. God can communicate to anything in this world. We make it so difficult. 
because of our relationship with our God and our communication with Him. But the issue be a friend of God. Rather to say be a friend of the giver you are asking from. You are seated here in need of this and that or a blessing or life be a friend of the giver. Whenever you hurt the rich man you must definitely become poor. Whether you are who the moment you hurt the Rich man. Bye bye to poverty. The moment you had food. Bye bye to what? Oh God. I don't want to be hungry. I don't want to be hungry. If you don't eat, you die. So hunger also is a blessing. So rather the problem you have today is a blessing. If you are not hungry, will you look for food? Oh no, no, you're and if you don't look for food, for 10 days you don't eat, you die. True? So whatever is going on in your life, partly it is a blessing. As hunger is a blessing to the healthy people. You too, the condition you are going through, partly it is a blessing. Maybe you wouldn't have been here, but something has brought you here. And that has now helped you to know more about your God. Because the journey is not simple. From here to heaven. Eh, how many kilometers? Eh, kilometer meka. And to know the direction to heaven. It's not easy. Oh Lord, why am I poor? Ah, Lord, Lord, why am I poor? Maybe you would have been a very rich man. And you don't know God. The last day come. And you don't enter heaven. You don't enter heaven. Why should you bother? Be a friend of God. Tell your neighbor, be a friend of God. Be a friend of God. Because you don't know even what will happen to you tomorrow. You want to produce children? You don't know how these children will look like and their character. Tell neighbor, be a friend of God. Be a friend of God. And the Bible says, and Abraham was called a friend of God. Abraham was called a James Yakobo chapter 2 Esule yokubiri verse 20 Oruniriro rwabiri But do you want to know O foolish man that faith without works is dead 
Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac his son on the altar? Do you see that faith was working together with his works and by works faith was made perfect? And the scripture was fulfilled which says, Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness and he was called the friend of God. You see then that a man is justified by works and not by faith only. Love <coughs> and friendship, they are two different things. <coughs> but these two cannot work together without this. I'm in John 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. For God so loved the world, he gave unto us his only begotten son that whoever believes in him will not perish but listen he has not perished but what is it but have if I don't want you to be hungry mm. I don't want you to be hungry. Sagalo <laughs> lumwe eh? How say? Sir. Nyagamba sebo. Have these bananas. Funami mvukano. Mango. Nemu yembe. Apple. Apple. Bibio. <coughs> that they may not perish. Bale mo kubula but have everlasting life. What will stop that perishing must be given to those who are bound to perish. What will happen if this man is not given food, even if I say you are my friend, you are my friend. Oh, Today, tomorrow, after 20 days, not even 20 days, the man will grow hungry, he will die. But if I don't want him to die of hunger, I must give him something to eat. So the love of God did not just come that God love you, God love you. By stopping your perishing, he gave you his son Christ Jesus that you may have everlasting life. So, without food, somebody can even get sick. If somebody needs everlasting good health, food, medicine, you must put it to him. So to be a friend to that person, you must be a giver to him. You must give him something. Otherwise, that friendship is not there. That love you call love is not there. That friendship you call friendship is not From the origin, from God the Father, that love is not there. That friendship is not there. 
Each one of us has a store. A physical store and a spiritual store. That is why you see that at a time you dream that thieves have come to steal you. But you are sleeping. But you dream that they have come to steal from you. They can come to steal even a vehicle you don't have physically. It means you have a spirit store. Are we going together? And once that spirit store thieves enter and steal, physically you finish. Because God is the giver, he first puts it in the spirit store. Be a friend of God. Jesus is my friend. Mm -hmm. Look at these issues. When you are walking, do you really feel him? Even when you are praying, do you really feel Jesus? Yes, no, don't say yes. Because when the reality will come to you, you know that you don't feel Jesus, you feel your mom. If this man comes, and if this man comes to chase me, as you were chasing me, oh, mama! Mommy, mommy. Now you say, no, I feel Jesus. But do you feel proud? When you are praying, do you, do you feel proud of him, Jesus? Jesus! Yes. Why only me problems? This kind of prayer Jesus will never answer. Blaming him every day. How does a driving? I'm not driving. Jesus, what are you doing? Yes, you are in trouble. Even if you go back home to your wife, all this time you have not cooked the food. Look at it. You should go to the kitchen and say, I have not cooked Good morning, Mom. Is there something? Wait in the sitting room. I'm coming. Don't just go to the kitchen. You people, you don't know how to do it. You're in trouble. You're in trouble. Hallelujah. Amen. Because that is our office. So when you are praying to Jesus, don't condemn him. If you want somebody to give you something good, don't start by condemning him, even if he's your dad. Even if something went wrong, don't start by condemning. Say first some good words. Dad. Daddy. 
you know, the other time you gave me some money to buy food. Ha, daddy, you want to go send to Google and Mede? Uh, yesterday I was hungry. Ha, and I daddy. remember you. Ha, I said, said ah, when I sit that, I'll when tell I him. Because I know he has money. Now, dad. Daddy. Daddy. Some money. <laughs> so that dad will feel. Daddy, Jacuri, Damuri. Daddy, you give other people money. Daddy, you don't give me money. Yet you have money. Oh, sorry. Can you sit somewhere, please? please. Because even working, getting money is not easy. You must create an atmosphere. Which allows you God to stretch his hand. No, this is the real way. Put an atmosphere. Which will attract God to give you. Don't blame him. He is your God. And when you want something, you got the man of God. Never do like this. It is like when you go to an office to ask for a job. I said, sir, I want to work here. Uh, you ask me, what is your experience? So, what is your qualification? I'm not educated. Even my mom did not educate me. <laughs> I have no experience. Uh, ask me another question. How can we help you when you don't have any letter? Anything you can do to me, anything. Like what? I don't know. Can you give? To such a job. Eh? No, I, can't, I can't give such a person. This is the way most of the born again Christians present themselves before God. I don't have money. I don't know what to do. You who doesn't know what to do, what, what do you want to do for you? What do you want to do for you? He will say go. I'm frustrated. You was frustrated. Who can give you a job? I'm cast. Lord, I have a lot of curses. You who is curses. What do you want God to do for you? You are Never, never attempt to Present yourself to God. Where Katonda as a man who goes to get a job. Go on to again to Kufuna Murimu. Kufuna Murimu. Good morning. What's your name? Good morning, Prophet. My name is Samuel. I'm a young man, Samuel. And I would like to have a word with you. I'm a young man, I'm a young man, I'm a young man, I'm a young man. My issue is all about a job. I feel that I'm qualified to work with you. I don't know what to do. What did you start? This is my experience. I have a degree in agriculture. I have experience of 10 years. Present who you are. Present. We yangule chicholi chicho sobolo kola lagawaka.
So before God, the same way present yourself. Lord Jesus, good morning, sir. I know you are my savior. I know you love me. Though I did not hear from you, your presence is enough. You know, yesterday I walked up in the morning at exactly five. I knew it was you who walked me up. And I know that you knew that I'm ready for a job. And I know you are the one who designed my stomach knowing that I must eat. You feed the world animals. You give them food. I know you can give me food. Thank you, Jesus, for my food. Be proud of him. He too will feel that. Hey, hey, hey. And if you give me a job, <laughs> I'll give you glory. And I'll testify. This is how I'll testify. My name is Samuel Katanda. I've just come back from Britain. You know the Lord took me over there. And everything was good. This Jesus, yes or no, is more of a human being. But feel him. Possess him. Your presence is heaven to me. And when a situation or problem comes, don't feel the problem more than his presence. But when a situation comes, you feel the presence of the problem, the greatness of the problem, than the presence of God in your life. If you know he's higher above the mountain, you feel the presence of God in your life. If you know how tall, how big, how great the problem. Tell him, Lord, I know you are higher than all these mountains. And above all the mountains, the heaven is God you are. Let him hear a word of appreciation of pride from your mouth. Jesus is not touching me. How can he touch the untouchable? Those who do not feel him. If you want to pray, don't trouble yourself. Don't make it. Uh, Hallelujah. And uh, another issue. If you want to pray to God. And this is the mistake with the many Christians. Enter the Bible. How do you enter? Oh, Bible. 
I'm reading Genesis. Nsoma olubereberie. 12:1. Esule ye 12 olunyi lyo lusoka. 2:3. Roku bilino roku satu. Now the Lord has said to Abraham. Ahom kama na gamba Ibrahimu. Leave Ibrahim alone. He went and left that gap for you. Kati Ibrahimu muveko ye yagenda kati ogwo mwaganya omukisogo yagulekera gwe. Gwe Ibrahimu walero. And the Lord said to Samuel Kakande. So long as you are reading upon or about Abraham, the blessings of the Bible will never work upon you because they talk about Abraham, not you. Abraham. So I know the whole Bible. The Bible you know, you well, you can know the whole Bible when you are not in the Bible. Until when you eat this banana, you own a man believes with his heart, confesses with his mouth. You receive the blessing which Abraham received with your heart and with your mouth you confess them. Now the Lord has said to Samuel Kakande, get out of your country from your family and from your father's house. To a land I will show you. Our Mukama Nagamba Ruth Kasasa, Divamo Zianyo, Ela Oye Chicacho, Nino Bayach Tao, O Ingremo Si, Giendi Kulaga. You are here seated. Oh, you want no, or today? You want a land? Oh, Yagala Taka? I want to build. Eroya Galapuzimba. Use this word. Cosa Sevi Gambovino. And the Lord said to Samuel Kakande, Get out of your country from your family and from your father's house to a land I will show you. To a plot I will show you. To a house I will show you. Now he is talking to you straight. Verse 2, I'll make you a great nation and I'll bless you, Kakande, and make your name great. And you, Kakande, shall be a blessing. I'll bless those who bless you, Kakande, and I'll curse him who curse you, Kakande. And in you, Kakande, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. From today, when you are reading your Bible, put your name. Say, oh Lord Jesus, give me the grace. I have been invited to fill the gap, to fill the gap of Abraham in Jesus' name. Zani. Hey. Zani, 
Zana sembeze walero kumbaka yo mukama You have been invited to oh, replace to take up the cup of Abraham. I want to see your jubilation. Because he has invited you. I'm in Luke chapter 1. Let's start from verse 28. And having come in, the angel said to her, Put your name there. And having come in, the angel said to Kakande, Rejoice highly, favored one, and the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among men. Then the angel said to Kakande, Do not be afraid, Kakande, for you have found favor with God. Put your name there. And behold, you conceive. Not everybody wants to conceive. And behold, you get money. <laughs> and you begin a business. Be wise when you are reading the Bible. Put your name, put yourself inside there because you have been invited. The Lord doesn't speak to me. How can he, he speak to unspeakable? Who are not there? Who have never been the Bible? Be in the Bible. This is the best way to read your Bible. If something is troubling you, read it like this. Even when you are seated here, read it like this. I'm reading First Samuel. Chapter 17. From verse 31. Now, when the words which Kakande spoke were heard, they reported them to Saul, and they sent for him. Then Kakande said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Your servant will go and fight with this first time. God bless your life. <laughs> You have been called from oh. your clan. Oh, it is from from which one David, no more. You are the David. Put your, your name there. Let no man's heart in your clan fail. Your servant Stephen will go and fight with that poverty. You see that now you are there. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Walk in your prayer. Let no man's heart fail. Your servant Samuel Kakande will go and fight with those demons. You are here seated. Something is troubling you. But what is Kakande saying? Sir, Sebo. let no man's heart fail. Because of this situation. Sir, Sebo. your servant Samuel Kakande will go. And he fight this situation. This will give you courage. Begin to. Let it see you charging. Let no man's heart fail.
because of this situation because of this poverty your servant Samuel Kakande oh Lord my Jesus your servant Samuel Kakande will go here he is he will go and defy this demon in the name of Jesus Whichever place you are seated, his servant Samuel Kakande said, He has come. Let not your heart fail. The servant of the Lord Samuel Kakande, he has come to fight that situation in the name of Jesus. You need the power to go through that situation. Rise up. Determined to go through. Say these words. Let no man's heart fail. Because of this situation. Put your name. Your servant. Put your name. Your servant Kakande will go and defied with this feasting and defied with this situation. Prayer. Stand as David stood. Say, let no man's heart fail because of this situation, because of this sickness, because of this poverty, because of this demon. Your servant, put your name, will go. Say, Lord Jesus, here I am, presenting myself to go through this situation. Whatever the situation before me, Jesus, give me the power to go through. Ask him to give you power. He has power. Ask him to give you the power. Don't joke. Ask him to give you power. Jesus, give me power. Prayer. Jesus, give me power to go through this situation. Prayer. This situation of poverty. This situation of confusion. This situation of hatred. This situation of demon. Give me power. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos and updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel and you will receive notifications of our latest videos. Press your subscribe button and notification button today. Thank you.